Who is the greatest superhero of all? Is it Superman? No? I bet you're gonna say it's Hong Kong Fooey. Could be! Because in this video, I got some facts about the greatest crime fighter in the history of television. The original episodes aired from September 7th to December 21st, 1974, and ran in repeats until 1976. Hong Kong Fooey is the secret identity of Penry Pooch, working at a police station as a mild-mannered janitor for Sergeant Flint. Now let me know in the comments how many of y'all thought his name was actually Henry. See, because I thought it was Henry the whole time, after all these years. Is this kind of like the Mandela effect or something? I don't know. Now, Penry was always causing Sarge problems. And it's kind of hard to say if it was on purpose or just completely unintentional. Here you are! My examination papers! Trophy. Henry! Penry listens in, has Rosemary, the telephone operator, takes calls on crimes in the city, and then he runs to a secret room where he jumps into a filing cabinet and transforms into the great Hong Kong Foo. After Spot the Cat lets him out, of course. The Hong Kong Fooey's car could turn into anything, a helicopter, a boat, just anything that he needed whenever he hit his gong. Now, Hong Kong Fooey always depended upon his book, Hong Kong Book of Kung Fu from the Hong Kong School of Kung Fu, for answers to defeat bad guys or solve any problem. I'm to see if my Hong Kong Book of Kung Fu has a good way to catch cooks who make bad money. Now, Hong Kong Fooey was, of course, revered as the most popular superhero in the world, even though Spot the Cat did most of the actual work. Of course, Fooey always thought he had done it somehow, moving so fast that even he himself missed the bad guy's defeat. Funny thing, Spot. I moved so fast I never even saw myself get it. <laughs> Fooey was so popular with the citizens that even if he knocked them down or accidentally beat them up, while he was in action, they thought of it as an honor to be roughed up by the great Hong Kong Fooey. What an honor to have had my expensive hat destroyed by the magnificent Hong Kong Fooey! Hong Kong Fooey was voiced by Scatman Crothers, who is familiar to every kid of the 70s, at least by the sound of his voice, if not by his name. He did work on the Globetrotters cartoon as Metal Arc Lemon, and then as Nate Branch, the Liquid Man on the Super Globetrotters. He was in several episodes of the new Scooby-Doo movies, Scat Cat in the 1970 animated movie The Aristocats, and then in the 80s he was Jazz the Autobot on the Transformers. He did a lot of guest appearances on live action television and starred in a lot of movies as well. He was in an episode of The Incredible Hulk, starred in 65 episodes of Chico and the Man, an episode of Charlie's Angels, Starsky and Hutch, the Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island TV movie, and in the movies Bronco Billy with Clint Eastwood, The Shining, and Twilight Zone the movie. He also made a lot of records and sang the Hong Kong Fooey theme song, which has helped make Hong Kong Fooey so memorable to generations of fans. Hong Kong Fooey, number one super guy. Hong According to IMDb, like Mark Twain, he was born the year Haley's comic returned to Earth in 1910 and died the year the comet came back around again in 1986. Sergeant Flint was voiced by Joey Ross who is best known as Officer Gunter Tootie in the 1960s TV series Car 54 Where Are You? Ross was famous for saying ooh, ooh, whenever he got upset and that was started with the Phil Silvers show. I read somewhere he started saying that whenever he couldn't remember his lines which of course became his trademark. As Flint, Ross revived Tootie's Kathy Gore did the voice of Rosemary the Operator. Well, hello, police headquarters. This is Rosemary, the divinest of the finest. Gore did numerous voices for Hannah Barbera, such as Lori in Inch High Private Eye, 1973, Katie Butler in Valley of the Dinosaurs in 74, and additional voices for the new Tom and Jerry show in 1975. Don Messick did the voice of Fooey's buddy, the cat named Spot. Messick was the original voice of Scooby-Doo, who he voiced for years from 1969 until his retirement. He did a ton of other characters too as well, including Boo Boo Bear and Ranger Smith in the Yogi Bear Show, and some robots in the Transformers in the 80s. 
Hong Kong Fui was a member of the Scooby Doobies on Laugh Olympics in 1977. Hong Kong Fui appears in the new Wacky Races episode, Hong Kong Screwy, and was voiced by Phil Lamar. In this cartoon, he is referred to as Penrod instead of Penreed the janitor. The racers encounter him in China and help him fight the forces of the evil organization KITTY, led by Golden Paw. Hong Kong Fui's origin was also revealed. It was almost a Hong Kong Fui movie with the voice of Eddie Murphy as Hong Kong Fui. And it sounded a lot like Donkey from Shrek. I'm this city's number one super guy. You a mean green fighting machine. Together we'll scare the spit out of anybody that crosses us. I think growing up in the 70s watching Hong Kong Fui is probably what inspired me to create my cartoon cat, Claw, the Kung Fu Cat. That and, of course, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, Van Damme, Jackie Chan and etc etc movies but there is just something about the mixture of the martial arts and humor to me that I love which reminds me of that guy from police academy Michael Winslow he's a comedic genius Daniel wanna fight huh Please check out my videos featuring my Kung Fu Cat on the TV Crazy Man channel. You should see a link to the playlist on your screen about now. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like, and hit the bell for future notifications. All that really helps the channel. It not only helps me get to know what viewers like and don't like, it helps with letting YouTube know you like my video and then maybe they'll show it to someone else as well. So thanks and have a great day.